right. You all ready? Gods and goddesses, rainbow children, young star seeds, crystalline beans. I honor you. Right now, we're in the fifth density. Our planet has shifted into the fifth dimension, right? But a lot of us are still holding on to the third dimension. And in order to make it to the fifth dimension, you're going to have to cross from the 3D to the fourth dimension into the fifth dimension. Right? And what is in the fourth dimension? You're going to have to face your demons. It's the spiritual realm. And that's what resides in the spiritual realm. It's demons. And you're going to have to face that shit in order to cross over into 5D. You can't jump from 3 to 5. Right? You have to go through the 4th. And the Earth is already going through the 4th dimension. Okay? It's just that a lot of people are still caught up in this whole 3rd dimensional reality. Right? So, in order to pull yourself out of there, you have to face your demons. Alright? You can face your demons through semen retention. Exactly. Through semen retention. Let's talk about it. I'm King Astro, for all y'all who wanna who, wanna what, wanna know, let's go! Yes sir! Back at it again. Alright, so... Basically, from what I'm seeing, <clears throat> I constantly have to shift back and forth between the third dimension and the fifth dimension, right? Because I've been doing a lot of shadow work, a lot of shadow work. And shadow work is dealing with the fourth density, the fourth dimensional. And what is the fourth dimension? I just want to talk about this briefly, right? The title is Facing Your Demons. So when I talk about the fourth density, the fourth dimension, right? The fourth dimension is the spiritual realm. Okay, the fourth density is the spiritual realm. So what resides in the spiritual realm? Spirits. Benevolent and Melvinant, the good and bad spirits, but mostly where the evil, wicked, malevolent spirits reside is the fourth dimension. And since our reality is so blindly tied to the fourth dimension, okay, we have entities who have knowledge of the fourth density and have used it against humanity in order to control us. And to usurp our energy because these fourth density, fourth dimensional entities feed off of your energy. Especially when you, you remain in the third density. See, if you rise above and you become fifth dimensional, they can't usurp that energy because they, they can't survive with fifth dimensional energy. So if you're vibrating high, you're saving your seed, you're retaining your semen. Right, Ian Wright, plant-based diet, sun gazing, meditating, right, you're doing all these things, you're taking care of yourself, you're not hating, you're not being jealous or envious, right, prideful or boastful, controlling your ego, staying disciplined, right, if you're doing all these things, Fourth density can't fuck with you. That's a fact. They can't even come close. And that's why a lot of people always stress, you know, raising your vibration and staying in the high vibration because 
Whether you know it or not, there's entities that's feeding off your energies that latch onto you when you stay in a low vibratory density. Because guess what? Their fourth density, your third density, you're lower than them. So of course they can usurp your energy. Because you're even lower than them, so they're just going to take your energy because they can feed off of you. But if you're a high energy source to them, you're greater than them, they can't feed off of you. You can feed off of them. You can take that fourth this is the energy turned into something positive, right? You can totally just suck in that energy and spit it back out as something positive, you know? You can take that dark energy and spit it out as light rainbow. Because that's what we do. That's what we do. We take dark matter and turn it into light. Okay, and... Your cerebral spinal fluid, your seminal plasma fluid. This all comes from dark matter. This all comes from the ether. So, this light is given to you from the ether. It's created in within you. The cycle, the Christ cycle of the cerebral spinal fluid and the pituitary and the pineal fluid that goes into your sacrum. Okay. It goes into your semen and not squandered for 30 days, becomes light, travels back up the spine, up the central cavity, back into your brain. Right? Nourishing your brain, revitalizing your brain. Open up dormant parts of your brain, the parts that have been asleep. Now you become woke. Now you're not just using 10% of your brain anymore, right? And this is the cheat code. If you, They say you're only using 10% of your brain. Why? Because you're squandering it. So you can't even begin to, to tap into higher realms and tap into different parts of your brains, right? Because you're just squandering all the fluids that's important for your brain, for important information for your brain. The cerebral spinal fluid... And plasma is really important information for your brain because this gives your body and your soul and your mind information about the reality you live in. And it forces you to see through the veil, see the truth. Because it keeps your mind clear, it keeps your third eye crystallized so you can see through the BS. Right? So, if you want to jump from 3D to 5D, you got to get on your semen retention game. And this is going to get you up to speed. Because you will get into that fourth density. Where you have to, your demons will come to surface. You have to battle your past demons. You have to battle your demons from, from the past. And not only that, you're going to have to battle your demons from right now. Not only that, you're going to have to battle the demons of this world. Once you realize the truth about who you are, you're going to have to battle the demons f for yourself. Once you realize the truth about what's taking place on this planet and what's taking place underneath your feet, right? These children that are going missing because this is all about the youth. Once you realize the truth. You're going to be woke and forced to deal with those demons. You're going to be forced to deal with all kinds of demons. And you might as well get on the job now. Team retention is the way to do that. A lot of y'all want to cross that threshold. You know, you're stuck in limbo. You feel like there's something you have to do just to tap in, tune in. How do we get this information? Because we stay tapped in. All the information is within us. You just have to harness the energy in order to receive that information. Like I'm saying, all this stuff that I'm talking about, I only talk, I only talk like this when I'm saving my energy. When I'm squandering, man, I can't even formulate one sentence. Now I'm having whole conversations about intellectual stuff. Because the information comes to me and it's like I already knew it.
Okay, I do do some research in here just to confirm. For the most part, I ask the question and the answer comes to me. And it makes sense. You're going to have to face your demons. Right? Earth is 5D. A lot of y'all talking 3D. In order to get to 5D, get on semen retention game. Eat right. You might keep your mind and your body clear. Get all these parasites and evil spirits off of you by cleansing and detoxing your mind, body, and soul. Okay? And the demons will manifest in real life. Okay? I've, I've had a demon manifest in real life. The witch that rides your back. Right? That ghostly witch figure that comes after you if you're holding in your seed. She will attack you. I'm going to just give you a fair warning. If you're holding in your seed for 3 plus months. 4 plus 120 day challenge. The witch will come and ride your back. And she's going to demand that you give her your seed. Don't let her. What did M say? Don't fuck with the witch, man. Don't fuck with the fucking witch. Don't fuck with the witch. But you will have the discipline and the power. Because once you get ingrained in your mind that no. I'm saving my energy. When she come for you, you're going to be like, what? Nah. You know what I mean? That's exactly what happened. When she came for me, I was like, what? Save my energy, get off of me. Be gone. And poof, just like that, she was gone. Haven't seen her since. And I knew I probably won't see her again because that was one of the demons I had to face. Well, I, was I going to pass the test or was I going to have a wet dream, as they say? Right? And you know that's what a wet dream is. A wet dream is when... Right. That's just a succubus. That's that witch. Just come to take. She's come to suck your bust. Right? Don't let her. Don't let her fight her off. Just tell her with your mind. Be gone. Go away. I'm tired. Go away. Leave me alone. Can't have it. She put up a fight, but whatever. She be kicking and screaming. Whatever. You don't have to face those demons. The demons will manifest. Right? They're manifesting people, places, and things. But you're going to recognize them. That's the thing. Because you're going to be sharp. You're going to know. Once you're aware that these things are going to be taking place. You handle it accordingly. And in turn, your vibration highs. Rises as you defeat your demons, you face your demons, right? You knock them off one by one, okay? Knock off your addictions, your addictions are demons. You're addicted to PMO, you're addicted to pornography, that's a demon. Kick his ass, semen retention, you. you're addicted to amstubation, kick his ass, let him go. You're addicted to quick fixes, the old face, quick endorphin fix, dopamine fix, kick the demon's ass, devil may cry style, let him go, whatever bad habits, smoking cigarettes, you know what I mean, eating too much, you know what I mean, whatever bad habits, that you know is detrimental to your health and keeping you in a low vibratory state and bringing you down just know that there's a demon attached to it if, if, if it's something in the back of your mind that's telling you man I need to cut back on this I need to cut back on the sweets I need to cut back on whatever just know that there's something attached to it that's why it's hard for you to let it go one of the hardest things to let go is PMO Porn, masturbation, or orgasm. One of the hardest things to let go. For a man, if you've already hit puberty and you've already done that to yourself multiple times. So, face your demons, become disciplined, right? 
let that light build up inside of you because that light is what you need in order to counteract that darkness to fight the darkness and once the light fills up inside you it fills up your body fills up your mind you have the power and the tools to fight these demons you have the mental aptitude the strength brain power focus insight right your body will be healed regenerated literally become born again okay this is the process of shedding off that old and being filled with that new the new energy is here Christ consciousness is here UVC radiation is here it's changing our bodies as we speak changing our DNA we just need to be in line with the frequency in line with the Earth's Schumann Residence that align with the Earth's heartbeat and vibrate high because once we vibrate high not only do we lift ourselves up we also help lift the ones around us up and also lift the planet up too because the more light that shines in you you become a beacon of light you become an anchor you become a node right and you're connected to a grid to other light beings who are vibrating high and as a collective it's like a net that's pulling up this earth pulling up this earth and filling this earth with light energy filling this earth with that Christ consciousness okay shedding away that fourth density matter slowly but surely pushing it away that's why you see all this change taking place you see the total reset Everything's collapsing, money shutting down, bank shutting down, pole, pole flipped, pole shift, right? Where it's hot, it's cold, where it's cold, it's hot. Desert freezing over, right? Flooding everywhere, volcanoes erupting everywhere. Okay? Multiple sightings in the sky, giant ships everywhere. Giant meteors coming down. Okay, it's everything is ramping up right now. Everything is ramping up, so that energy is being drowned out, being pushed away. While this new sun energy is gonna come here and cleanse the earth, right? Just make sure that you're cleansing yourself too, so you don't get wiped away with everything else. Okay, stay on your job and do not get the SHOT. Stay away from the kill shot. Because it affects your RNA. And UVC changes your RNA for the good, but this stops stops that from happening. Stops you from getting your upgrade. Stops you from leveling up. So just be wary. Alright, and you need to be a soldier. Holding in your energy makes you strong disciplined right you become a soldier you're ready to fight the evil forces of darkness right so right now is the time to face those demons right away because you need to come to the realization and it'll make it a lot easier for you to move into 5d and these new energies that are coming here okay because you need to stop holding on to the 3d past Stop holding on to the old way of doing things because that's just feeding the fourth density. We're not feeding them anymore. We're becoming into light. We're becoming lighter. The weight of our shoulder has been lifted. The veil has been lifted. We now have knowledge of self and who we truly are. So we're going to let our light shine in the darkness. It's, it's either going to take up the light and be consumed by the light. Or the darkness is just going to have to move. Which is, the darkness is being removed regardless if they want to or not. Because they cannot coexist with this light energy that's here. Okay. So, face your demons now because it'll make it easier for you to become light and move into the fifth density. Alright. Because it's really difficult to jump from three to fifth. 
Okay, it's gonna be very disorienting. It's gonna be very hardening, and you're probably gonna reject it and want to stay in 3D because you won't understand it. Because you haven't faced your demons, you haven't crossed that threshold. You have to know the truth, and once the truth hits you, you become awakened through a rude awakening, right? Then you have to go through the pains. You gotta go through the depression. You gotta go through the anger. And then you gotta go through the realization that okay, these are the way things are. Now what? What can we do to take action to change things? Now you're in the fifth density. Now you now you're thinking okay, this is what needs to be done to totally wipe away all this darkness. I've dealt with mine. Now let's help the planet get rid of the rest of the darkness because the Earth is still trying to cleanse itself of this darkness so let's become that light let's become that light because the darkness can't stand the light wherever there's light there's no there's no dark darkness can't survive okay just look up at the stars you see you see a speck of light exactly out of all that darkness you see the light because the light will always shine no matter what, the light will always win. Because there's enough of us and there's plenty of us. Just a quick message I wanted to drop to you people. Hope you guys are having a great day, great evening, great afternoon, wherever you are. Sending love, light, and peace, energy to all the rainbow young star seeds out there. Let's let our light shine. Let's tap into Christ consciousness. And let's whoop these demons' ass, alright? It's time to face those demons. They ain't got nothing on you. They ain't got nothing on us. We ride into the end, we ride into the fullest. Because once we overcome this, the victory and the redemption at the end is definitely worth it. Alright? Alright, this is Astro for all y'all who wanna who, wanna what, wanna know, let's go!